Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey. if you guys are new here. And happy Vlogmas. In today's video, I am going to be doing my best red lip combo for brown skin, for my brown skin girls, for my black girls, and for my women of color. Now what I'm talking about, that medium, deep, darker skin tone range. Just because every red, just like every lipstick color, is not suitable for all skin tones. I find, you know, true reds are very popular all year round, but specifically around the holidays, most of us like a neutral eye with a red lip, just to be a little bit more spunky. So, also like a red lip is like so sexy. But yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you my top red lips for, like I said, brown and darker skin for all my girls of color. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be placing my swatches of these lipsticks on one side of the screen. For all of the lipsticks, I use the same lip liner, which is MAC Burgundy. I used to use MAC Vino, which is like a purpley shade, but Burgundy is more of like a deeper true red. Most of us women of color, we tend to use a darker lip liner than the lipstick, just, you know, for like that 90s look. That was always a trend. I feel like our community, like black women started and like other people just kind of, you know, went along with it, which, you know, to each their own, but it is something that started within our community. So having that darker lip liner just to kind of create like this ombre effect. And it was mostly actually because of our complexion. Most lipsticks did not go with our skin color, which is why we started pairing it with a darker liner, but actually it just looks clean and crisp and like cute. So this is the burgundy lip liner from Mac. And you guys, I remember when these lip liners were $15, but there is a reason that MAC is the number one lipstick or lip product brand in the world. I love this lip liner. I love MAC's formula of lip liners. They are amazing. They have been for years. So yeah, I've been using the burgundy lip liner, which is what I have on my lips today. The first lipstick I'm going to start off with is this Fenty Beauty Uncensored Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick. I actually... It was inspired to do this video because I always pull out my red lip around this time of year and when I opened it this year it smelled funny so I was like I think this lipstick is bad so I need to go purchase another one but I kind of got distracted by all the other red lips I wanted to try some more out so this is the Fenty Uncensored Red Lipstick this lipstick has a blue undertone so it is definitely gonna make your teeth appear a little bit brighter gonna make the color a little bit brighter as well even though this one is a true blue toned red this one is probably the brightest in today's video so it's gonna be the lightest shade but it is a really good liquid lipstick I love the formula the only thing though about Fenty Beauty's liquid lip is this is not transfer proof um, it is very liquidy. You have to be careful. Don't tip it over. It will spill out. It's glass packaging. It is kind of heavy. It's not the best to carry around if you have like a small purse, but if you have a larger purse, it wouldn't matter. But it is still a beautiful lipstick, and we love Fenty Beauty on this channel. So this is Fenty Beauty Uncensored, and these retail for, I believe, $25. You can get Fenty Beauty from FentyBeauty.com or Ulta or Sephora, as with the rest of these lipsticks. The next lipstick we have is by MAC. This is the MAC Liquid Retro, I'm sorry, this is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade 102 Dance With Me. This one is like a true red, but it's like a deep true red. This one also has that blue undertone, but this one is a little bit darker than the Fenty. It's not much darker, but this one is definitely the second lightest red that I have in today's video. So it is brighter. So pair this in the video with the burgundy lip liner. Lip liner is the same. I do not wear lipstick without lip liner. So that's why I swatched it that way. But this is Dance With Me. And I spent actually <laughs> on the lip liner and liquid lipstick alone, I spent almost $50. So I don't know how much the MAC liquid lipsticks are, but I will post it on the screen because they're not cheap, you know? So what 50 divided by two, they're probably around $25. But I will say out of all of the lipsticks today, I'm actually going to have to say that the MAC liquid lipstick is probably the best formulated lipstick because it is matte, but it does not feel matte. It is very lightweight. It's very comfortable and it is transfer proof. So Fenty, not transfer proof. MAC transfer proof and again like I said I swear by MAC I've sworn by MAC for years this 
is definitely the formula is definitely the reason why they are the number one lip product brand in the world the next liquid lipstick that i have is by nars this is in the shade star woman and this nars has two true reds but star woman is known to be a darker true red and i just feel like the darker true red versus the true regular true red is always better on deeper skin so star woman is really nice and this is probably the second best formula in today's video I actually have it on my lips currently while i'm speaking and doing this over for some reason when it dries down it just it's perfect and also you guys when you're trying on these liquid lipsticks because most of these are liquid lipsticks make sure you wait till they dry down to get like the true color like this is completely dried down so this is what it truly looks like wait for it to settle but this is Star Woman by NARS. And I'm not actually sure of the price of this one. It's NARS, so I'm sure it's overpriced. But I will put the price somewhere up here on the screen. This one, of all the colors today, is probably my favorite. Probably my favorite. I love this lip combo. This is the Burgundy Lip Liner in NARS and Star Woman. The next lipstick I have is an oldie but a goodie for me. If you guys can't tell, this one is Well Love. This is MAC Red, and for some reason, I have not been able to find this lipstick on the website. Maybe it's back up there now, but this is MAC Red, also a blue red. But one thing I noticed, and this is why I don't wear this as much anymore, obviously this is a regular traditional bullet lipstick. This is not transfer proof, and red is a messy color. I don't prefer traditional lipsticks for red lipstick. For a red, I prefer it to be a matte, and I prefer it to be in the liquid lipstick formula. I just find that it looks most attractive that way, like as a liquid lipstick. It doesn't look the best. Definitely like a red gloss. It, I don't know. It just doesn't look like, it doesn't give what it's supposed to give. I prefer a red in like the matte formula, but this is still a beautiful red for those of you who do not like liquid lipstick formulas or find them to be too drying. For one, you're not using the right liquid lipsticks if they're too drying because there are some amazing formulas out here. All of these lipsticks I'm recommending, none of them are super dry or anything like that. But if you just don't like a liquid lipstick, MAC Red is going to be the color for you. This is the Anastasia lipstick. This one is in the shade, this one is in the shade Seraphine or however you pronounce it. This one is, they have another true red shade which is a little bit brighter which is the American Doll shade. I think this one is a little bit more suitable for, again, our complexion. And I actually really like the formula of these liquid lipsticks because I know they reformulated them. The old Anastasia liquid lipsticks were so dry. Like I used to despise their liquid lipstick formula, but this is so much better. I do feel like this formula is a bit of an acquired taste because they are comfortable, but they kind of have like a stickiness. Like when you put your lips together, like they kind of like have a little stickiness to them and I feel like not everybody will like that but personally for me I really like it a lot um I love this color as well I think this one is super beautiful and I think it's also very very close to the NARS liquid lipstick I don't know I just like the NARS the formula and the color just a little bit better but some of you may like this color better and you may like this price a little bit better not that they're like far apart in price but this one is really nice. And then as far as Too Faced goes, I know a lot of you thought I was going to probably bring out Lady Balls or even Drop Dead Red. Drop Dead Red is a beautiful color and probably by far one of my favorite lipstick shades, but I feel like it doesn't really give holiday. That one is more of like a vampy look, more so like for fall time. So I think that um, Nasty Girl is so suitable. And actually, I'm going to have to be honest with you. I love Too Faced's liquid lip formula. It's not transfer proof, but it stays on those lips for a long time. All of these liquid lipsticks actually do a good job with their holding power. None of them are better than the MAC formula. Just being honest, MAC is probably the best formula followed by NARS. But Too Faced stays on your lip. The only thing though is when I reapply most of these lipsticks, they're fine. But with the Too Faced formula, do not just put it on top of the lipstick. You have to wipe it off and then put on a new layer. I will say out of all of the formulas, this one is probably the most difficult, but it's really not difficult at all. And I will say Fenty is probably the most messy, so be careful with that. Also with the NARS Power, Power Matte Pigments, do not turn those over. That formula is also liquidy like Fenty, but for some reason, 
Fenty's liquid lipstick does not dry down on the lips the way the NARS does. NARS will eventually dry down on your lips, but when it's in the tube, be careful not to lay it on the counter. Do not lay it down. It will spill out like it will empty out really fast i actually had that happen to me before so just be careful with the nars and the fenty because they are the most delicate um and the most liquidy but yeah you guys i hope this video was helpful I have all of my lip liners as you guys saw at the beginning of the video i do feel like this mac burgundy lip liner is the best lip liner for true matte reds even for the brighter matte reds and the deeper matte reds, I just feel like this one is the most flattering and suitable color. It's not too dark, but it still gives that definition around your lips. So MAC Burgundy, you guys, do not sleep. I know us brown girls, we love cork and we love chestnut. I know we love those lip liners. A lot of us like Vino and Night Moth or whatever. But trust me, don't sleep on this burgundy lip liner because I feel like this does not get enough praise for being a good liner for a red lip. MAC really should sponsor me because, I mean, really at this point. And then the last liquid lipstick I have to show you guys is Too Faced Liquid Lipstick Formula in the shade Nasty Girl. And I know a lot of you probably thought I was going to pick Lady Balls. That one is also a true red, but I just feel like it's too bright for people whose skin tone may be a few shades darker than mine. Because personally, I have brown skin, and I just feel more comfortable with, a, like I said, a deeper true red versus a brighter true red. Fenty is probably, out of all these shades, this is probably the truest regular blue tone red like not the deeper red but like the regular true red if you're a makeup lover you understand like my lingo and my language but i just feel like for us for us women of color like the deeper true reds do look a little bit more flattering and they're still like fabulous but it's all about those undertones i just feel like if the lipstick has the blue undertone in it it is going to make those teeth look white it's going to draw people to your mouth and be careful wearing a red lipstick and like a super bold eye because red lipstick also draws a bunch of attention so you really want your focus your focal point to be on the red lip not the eyes and the red lip because it could look it could go scary like really fast so yeah. that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and informative i know you guys love lipstick swatches and one of you um, in my comments have been asking me to do like reds and deeper tones for like a very long time but these videos are very hard because my lips stain in the process of doing them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know down below in the comments which red lip was your favorite i'm gonna have to say i think this nars star woman is definitely my favorite but I actually love them all. All the formulas are great, and I love all of the shades. I just think for myself, I feel like this one is for me. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think another one looks better? But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!